Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. We begin our drive today in the New Orleans Warehouse District. We'll be heading across town through the Central Business District, the Fulberg Marigny, the Bywater, the Lower Ninth Ward, Araby, and finishing in Shelmet. This section of the New Orleans Warehouse District has undergone a transformation in recent years. Old rundown buildings and parking lots have been replaced with new modern apartment buildings, trendy hotels, and retail establishments. That was one of New Orleans' highly skilled drivers, concentrating on his cell phone rather than the road, but it's okay. He has the emergency blinkers on, so everyone around him is aware of his presence. This part of North Rampart Street runs along the edge of the French Quarter. The city is in the process of adding a new streetcar line here connecting Canal Street with Elysian Fields Avenue. At one time, New Orleans was crisscrossed with streetcar lines dating back to the mid-1800s when they were drawn by mules or horses. Beginning in 1893, the streetcar lines were electrified. By World War II, most of the electric streetcar lines had been replaced by buses and in 1964, the only line left was the historic St. Charles Avenue streetcar line. Over the past decade, the streetcar lines have slowly been coming back in projects like this. At Elysian Fields Avenue, we join Louisiana State Highway 46, which runs to the easternmost point in St. Bernard Parish.
The St. Claude Avenue Bridge is a bascule drawbridge, which was originally a combination railroad and auto bridge. The center lanes carried the railroad, which no longer exists. The bridge crosses the industrial canal and connects the lower and upper ninth ward. Because the bridge must open any time marine traffic enters the canal locks from the Mississippi River, it seems to always be up. Anyone who takes this route regularly spends a lot of time sitting in this spot waiting for the bridge to go back down. Because there are only three ways to cross the industrial canal, with one of those crossings being closed on a semi-permanent basis, this bridge sees a lot of pedestrian and bicycle traffic, as the other available crossing at Claiborne Avenue is not designed or safe for such traffic. This is the Lower Ninth Ward. This area was flooded badly after Hurricane Katrina in 2005, after the flood wall on the Industrial Canal gave way. Low-lying areas to the north had water as deep as 12 feet. Here, at the end of Orleans Parish, is Jackson Barracks, which is the headquarters for the Louisiana National Guard. Established in 1834 as New Orleans Barracks, it was renamed to honor Andrew Jackson in 1866. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1976. In St. Bernard Parish, in the town of Araby, St. Claude Avenue comes to an end, and we stay to the left onto St. Bernard Highway. We continue east parallel to the Mississippi River. On the right is the historic Shelmet Battlefield and National Cemetery where the Battle of New Orleans was fought in 1815, the final decisive battle in the War of 1812 against Great Britain. We conclude today's road trip at Paris Road in Chalmette, alongside the ruins of De La Ronde Plantation in the median of St. Bernard Highway. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and join us for our next 504 road trip.